my, I forgot to turn my volume back up, sorry. Um, this is just going to be a quick video to the vision that the Lord gave me last night. Um, don't know if it was August 2nd or the morning of August 3rd yet. It was right after I fell asleep last night. Um, I had received some answers to questions that I asked the Lord on August the night of August 1st, morning of August 2nd, um, so Friday night to Saturday morning, regarding Ephraim Rodriguez and his prophecy about the coming asteroid. Um, God's given him knowledge that an asteroid is coming, and it's supposed to, he, it, I'll give you a put link to his, um, some of his videos, and then I, so you can check, check it out yourself, but, and pray about it, but I, saw one of part of one of his videos like over a month ago and you know it's just one of those things where you like there's lots of things that are gonna come upon the world especially in in the tribulation time so you know I didn't know that it, I thought it was regarding you know later as we're into revelation you know concerning the further end times but as I read I went back and listened to some of his videos in the last week or so um, that this prophecy of the uh, asteroid that's supposed to hit on the west of Puerto Rico um, by Mona Island there and cause a tsunami to Puerto Rico and the eastern United States where they have FEMA region 3 and 4 and they got ready by August October 1st I'm sorry 2013 um, I just thought it was interesting that they have lots of preparations and such and we, we still don't know what that's all for anyways um i took it to the lord as ephraim suggested you know we should always take things to the lord and test it by the word of god and pray and ask the lord to reveal to us um through his holy spirit with discernment and such if it's it's if it's actually from him and so that's what I did first on Friday night. I really didn't ask specifically about, you know, the asteroid and for God to confirm that to me. I was asking particular questions and um, the Lord answered me. He's good. He's faithful all the time. God is good. And um, so I have my notes on that, but it's a little more detailed. So I want to make my, I want to pray and get all my notes and words in order so that it's, it flows and it's concrete and and you know it makes sense and you can understand what I'm trying to portray and what God's shown me so um, that'll be coming shortly but for now so then Saturday night when I went to bed I asked the Lord specifically well can you please reveal to me if you know if um, his prophecy is true and um, if there is indeed an asteroid coming and so um, because that would make sense to me. It falls in line with a lot of what God's already revealed to me in the last, you know, since September. And so one of those things being hard times are coming and it's not just the California earthquake. And, um, and I have mentioned that I didn't know what all that included. It could be, you know, the economy or, you know, famine or it could be many things. But we were just to be prepared and to be ready and prayed up and, you know, witnessing for him, redeeming the time as the times are short. So, um, but a lot of what the Lord has revealed to me over the last few months lines up with a lot of what Ephraim and others have, you know, seen and, and God has revealed to them. So, um, I thought it important to share. Anyways, so last night, this morning, I don't know what time it was because I was asleep, but one of the first things I remember after falling asleep was the vision that he gave me regarding um, seeing an asteroid falling to the earth. And so the image that I'm going to use for um, this video icon, um, the, the picture for the video, is going to be as close, I mean, I saw it on the you know web pictures and it was really close to what I had seen in my in my mind so it basically was at night I saw and you know he's in Puerto Rico which is part of the United States territories and he, so Central America or yeah Central America there off the Caribbean area um, south of Florida and um and I'm over here in California so it's like a three-hour time difference and uh, anyways 
he um, he said that it happens at night and um, at 2 a.m. and so 2 a.m. would still be 5 a.m. my time and um, anyways in my dream when I saw the asteroid coming down or dream or vision it was just a it was a just a quick vision um, it was night it was dark where the, when the asteroid was hitting that part of the earth wherever it was because I did not see where it was I didn't see the land masses I didn't see the time or the day I just know that it was dark out when it hit that part of the earth and it was coming down out of the sky down it was when I was looking at it it was at the right and it was coming down and um, it was on fire it was on fire coming through the atmosphere obviously and so it was on fire and glowing and um, was shooting down. And it was, um, I couldn't really see the ground beneath it, although it was all, you know, just black and dark. So um, maybe that's because there, it was more in the, you know, hitting near the ocean than actually, you know, on a big land mass because I didn't see any lights right directly underneath it. Um, so anyways, that's all I know. I don't know the day or hour or the time. Um, I just asked for God to reveal to me if it was true, if there was an asteroid coming before the ones that we know about in Revelation. And um, I, saw the, I saw a vision of one happening. So I wanted to share. And then as we read in God's Word, um, you know, if you have the gift of prophecy or healing, or um, helps or you know teaching whenever we do anything in the name of the Lord we're supposed to pray and, and ask um, for him to guide us and and show us things and be with us and teach us what we you know if we're teaching what we should teach and if we're gonna heal someone we pray for that healing believing in faith um, that the Lord you know hears us and so in James 4 um, it says James 4, 2 to 3. You lust and do not have, you murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. So, first of all, we may not, you know, unless you ask the Lord, you won't receive answers to your questions sometimes. You know, he'll show you in his word or the Holy Spirit will will um, give you understanding or give you a thought or direct you or you may have a vision or a dream um, so seek the Lord and ask if um, we test all things by the Word of God and hold fast to that that is true and right here in James 4 it says to ask and um, you don't ask, if you don't ask you're not going to receive and and if you ask and don't receive, it's because you ask amiss that you can that you want to spend it on your pleasures. So yeah, if we ask for a million dollars, obviously, and if, if our heart's not set on spending it on the Lord, you know, for some kind of a you know orphanage or something, and He knows our hearts, then He's not going to give that to us um, because it's just for ourselves. John 14, 13 to 14, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. So we just need to bring things to the Lord and ask for answers and ask for guidance and ask for him to show us and reveal things and teach us. And He he's always faithful. Um, he cannot deny himself. He's, he's faithful even when we're faithless. So... And I thought this was an excellent verse, um, Jeremiah 33, 3, but I'll start in verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time, while he was still shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it, to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So, amen. God is awesome, and... I always, you know, Jesus is my best friend. He's my number one, and um, my husband's just number two. So, um, but he's okay with that. So, make the Lord Lord of your life and um, seek him, and all these other things will be added unto you. Blessings.